legislative agenda. I'm not asking about the tweet like, itself. I think the president I'm asking would, about whether or not this helps his legislative agenda. I, I think the president would love for us all to focus on the legislative agenda a whole lot more. Um, over, you look at the coverage over the last month of the extended period between May and June, all of the major networks, if you look at their coverage and what they're talking about, they spent one minute in the evening newscast talking about tax reform, three minutes on infrastructure, five minutes on the economy and jobs, 17 minutes on health care, and 353 minutes, 353 minutes attacking the president and pushing a false narrative on Russia. I mean, look at that in comparison. If you guys want to talk about legislative agenda and focus on policy and priorities, you guys get to help set that table. And 353 minutes of attacks against the president and driving a false narrative and one minute on tax reform. That's over the course sure. of a month. Sure. That's sure. incredible. Sure. The numbers, sure. guys, the numbers sure. don't lie. Sure. The media's focus sure. on priorities, they don't line up with the rest of America. The, right now, we've got our economies growing, the stock market's up, unemployment is down, jobs are back, and ISIS is on the run. America is winning, and that's what we'd sure. like to talk sure. about. Sure. But you guys constantly sure. ignore that sure. narrative. Sure. Go ahead, John. All of those points that you make, Sarah, about the, the positive sorry, elements of what the president's agenda are certainly true. All of those things are true. But the president today put out this tweet, which takes away from all of that. And you expect us here in this room to simply ignore that. Now, I think that's the, the, the valid question that should be asked of you right now. Should Look, we just ignore this entirely? I think he's put out a number of tweets on health care, on the immigration bills that will be in the House today, but that's not being talked about. That's not being asked about. But the discrepancy, again, 353 minutes. You can't say that you want to talk about policy, and then you look at the numbers, and they just don't lie. You can't expect for that amount of attack and intensity to come on a president and him to never respond.